I love books. But what am I going to read this summer? Whatever will I decide? Didn't you know that the SDS English Department has compiled a summer reading list? Ugh, summer reading list? There are always so many projects with those. I like to read, but I don't want to do a bunch of projects. The odds are in your favor. This year, the English department has determined that there will be no projects associated with summer reading. We really want you to read a book because you like to read and because you're encountering a new story, maybe something that you won't read during the school year. So do you mean I'll read a whole book and not get any credit for it? When you come back to school, you'll have the opportunity to participate in a book party, a discussion with other people who've read the same book that you have over the summer. You'll have the opportunity to earn a daily grade for this, but if you don't participate in a book party, you won't have any penalty. Okay, I'm in. But how do I choose the one that's right for me? Let's take a look. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy by Douglas Adams is a satirical science fiction story about Arthur Dent who realizes when the Earth explodes that it's not the only place in the universe. As you read this book, you'll travel along with Arthur as he encounters Babelfish, terrible Vogon poetry, and finds the answer to life, the universe, and everything. You'll like this book if you like Doctor Who or other science fiction stories. The Road by Cormac McCarthy is a story about a father and son in post-apocalyptic America traveling along, you guessed it, a road. And it's really rough. The style is different than what you would probably normally read. And if you love The Walking Dead, then you'll really enjoy this book. Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier is a gothic romance that tells the story of a young girl who meets a mysterious wealthy stranger in Monte Carlo. He whisks her off her feet and takes her back to his beautiful mansion. She doesn't know, though, that the house holds a haunting secret. You'll like Rebecca if you like other gothic romances like Jane Eyre or Pride and Prejudice or if you like shows like Downton Abbey. 1984 by George Orwell. He should sound familiar to you. You all read Animal Farm your sophomore year. Um, George Orwell wrote this book in 1948, and he saw this dystopian society as the future for the world. If you enjoy dystopian novels like The Hunger Games or um, Fahrenheit 451, then you'll enjoy this dystopian story. The Glass Castle by Jeanette Walls is a memoir of Jeanette Walls' own life, a nonfiction account. She grew up with her parents who were kind of free spirits, or so she thought when she was younger, but as she grew up, she started to realize that maybe her parents weren't really people who had her best interests at heart. You'll like The Glass Castle if you like other nonfiction works like Same Kind of Different as Me, or if you like stories of growing up, such as Huckleberry Finn. This is Into the Wild by John Krakauer. He wrote um, Into Thin Air, and this is a tragic adventure story. So if you loved 127 Hours or Miracle in the Andes, then you'll really enjoy this book. In Cold Blood by Truman Capote is a true crime novel, in fact, one of America's first and best true crime novels. Capote tells the story of what happened on November 15, 1959, in the town of Holcomb, Kansas, when the Clutter family was brutally murdered for almost no reason in their own home. He explores the psychology of the murders and actually gets to know the killers themselves, asking the question, what causes Americans to be violent? Students in Dr. Phelps's classes are encouraged to read one of these three books. Tuesdays with Maury is the story of a young man's encounter with an older mentor. The Poisonwood Bible tells the story of a missionary family's struggles in Africa. Richard III is a Shakespearean play based on the life of, you guessed it, Richard III. Students in Humanities may read any of these three, and students in dual credit British literature are strongly encouraged to read Richard III. Hello, I'm Dr. Phelps, and I'm happy to tell you that I'll be hosting the book parties for these three books, Richard III, Tuesdays with Maury, and The Poisonwood Bible, and I hope you'll join me. Hi, I'm Miss Wiley, and I am excited to host the book parties for Rebecca and Into the Wild. Hi, I'm Mrs. Box, and I'll be hosting the book parties for In Cold Blood, The Glass Castle, and The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. 
Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith, and I'm hosting the book parties for Cormac McCarthy's The Road and George Orwell's 1984. better not show up in the blueprints. <laughs> no. <laughs>